Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. Further ado, let's move on to, what is this, the second half of the championship now, I think? Round number eight, the ADC Rally Deutschland, aka the German Rally. So, the second year in the WRC, the ADC Rally Deutschland takes place in and around the town of Trier. Primarily a fast asphalt rally, the German weather can sometimes take a turn for the worse and prevent some very difficult obstacles for the competitors. So we're going to tarmac without any snow. Thankfully. So yeah, all tarmac. And once again, big paragraph of history. It's going to be hard to read. I'm showing it anyways. So I'm a piss of shit. I'm a piss of shit. Piss of shit. You having fun running around, cat? And finally, the postcard. The ADAC Rally Deutschland is run on asphalt roads through the German countryside. It's a fast event, passing through vineyards and forests in the Mosel Valley. Stages are also held on military land, where hazards at the side of the road include tank traps, which mean picking your line through corners is even more essential. Like that little wall tap there on the, uh, the preview video. It's like, hmm. Incoming squirrel? Maybe? I don't know if it wasn't bits, it was just... Never mind. Never mind. I misread that. Oh well. Anyways, let's skip the shakedown. We don't need to see that. So welcome to the ADAC. ADAC, not ADAC. ADAC, Rally Deutschland. Deutschland. <laughs> Anyways. Let's just move on to stage number one, which is going to be 5.5 k's in length, and considering this is a tarmac rally, that should go by fairly quickly. We'll see, though. But, uh, there's our setup, so hard suspension, blah, 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 long gears, and all that good shit. So, let me just put on my gloves for the first time in the stream. Oh, boy. I think I have plenty of time because of. Well, these aren't very long loading screens, but you know, still take a minute. By a minute, I mean a few seconds. Anyways, we are ready to go. Three, two, let's let's go. One, go. go. Right. All right. Let's see how I get on on tarmac after doing so many asphalt or er, uh, gravel rallies. Past several rounds. One right and four left. Yoink. Three left and oh, so far three so right good. Also, um, this is not like 100% confirmed, but I think and that as I, uh, so you know those messages that pop up saying like, hey, I've unlocked, you know, an evolution of the car. Whoa. I think that evolution upgrades actually applied automatically as I go along. Um, at least it feels that way. I, I redid, like I was replaying some stages so I could get, you know, video thumbnail since there's no replay save feature in this game and blah 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 blah. And, uh, car felt like it was more responses and shit at Monte Carlo, which would be obvious because I was using stage 3, but it was kind of the same as it was when I was doing stuff like a uh, most recent round, wherever the hell that was, I can't even remember now. This has been two days. So yeah, I think we actually uh, are getting our car upgraded here, again. Can't really confirm that. But, uh, you know. Blah. Just thought I should, you know, something to mention. I mean, this is still a fairly blind playthrough for me. I haven't done... I've never done a, like, a full championship at all. Well, I've barely done a full rally in this game. Before this LP started, also fuck your stop signs. This is Germany, we ain't, we ain't got time to stop. Okay, so the top five in the stage so far are separated by one-tenth of a second. This is a very tightly contested first stage. In a series of tightly contested first stages. Holy shit. Just barely made that. 
So I think I need to turn the engine sound up a little bit. It might be a little too quiet for the viewer. Get out of the grass. Grass is not tarmac, therefore not fast. Cool. Despite that little mistake on that one junction, 100, junction right. take the stage lead. Cut another turn. Five left into five I was going to say, am I going to get notes for this or. Uh... <laughs> And there we go, and we ended up losing the stage too low by 0 .04. That's no, fine. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Go. Ignored stops. Next. Fuck you. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to re-enter my initials every time I uh, restart the game. That's fine. Outside, Jeros. Yeah, how's it going? So, here's our stage 1 results. Sebastian Loeb takes the early rally lead by .04 over myself and also Harry Rovenpera, as we tied. And there's also a tie for 4th between Grunholm and Sainz. Again, top 5 separated by less than a tenth of a second. After a 3 minute stage. Good god. What the fuck is a high score? Uh, best stage time? Anyways, two stage two balls and better good one. A little shorter at 4.4 Ks, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Scoring people's ability to greet now, maybe. Maybe. Carlos Sainz Senior. Senior Senior Senior. Let's, let's just skip all this bollocks, fuck it. I think you've seen that enough times. I mean, we've only done like... 42 stages. 43 stages. 44th now. I think you understand what that little... Uh, ...pre-stage scene is going to be like. Yeah, I can only imagine it's like... It's like people who've never watched rallying. Oh god, rallying and only know F1. They see the name Carlos Sainz and it's just like, what? Since when did Carlos Sainz do uh, rallying? I thought he was like 20. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything is a-okay. Putting a German flag on the road because, uh, national pride. And we got another top top, or tight top five, although it's not one-tenth tight. But it is half a second. And it's still pretty tight. Ooh, where am I going? A little bit of awkward apex. Just lying in general around that turn. Big uphill. Can't be a rally stage without a big uphill section. Oh, psh. no, I'm not okay. Quickly to reverse, quickly in the first gear. Go, go, go. And there goes five seconds. Poopy. Oh, shit. Made it. That was a lot smoother, although slow. Well, this is a little rough. That's a solid fence. I don't think I did that very well. Just a hunch. And I lost another second. Heck. Go! Back on... Smooth road again. Oh, never mind, we're in the grass. 
voice is failing me. Well, this is not a good follow-up stage for me, and there we go. Yikes. Reminds me of the Kentucky Roads. Jesus Christ, JC. Someone's becoming edgy. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, F1 documentary on Netflix. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, anyways, here's the results. Marco Martin won the stage by only a couple tenths of a second, and there I am in ninth. And Mikko Hirvonen is retired from the rally, so, uh, rip Hirvonen. And with that abysmal performance in stage two, I'm now down to eighth in the rally. Hey, at least I still own the points. <laughs> One whole point, but I'm still in the points, and I got a four second advantage over McCray, so. Yay. Yeah. It's no longer Hirvonen, he's Hirvonen out. Ooh, this one looks like a fucking. That's a lot of switchbacks. That is a lot of switchbacks. 7.6 kilometers of switchbacks. Let's go. God, Iowa. Can you imagine Kenseth and Logano on in the same car for that long extended period of time all alone? That'd be crazy. Alright. Oh! Stage number three. Day two. Let's hope day two can, uh... I do well here day two and recover from the loss of day one. Well, stage two. Half of day one. Oh my goodness. How did I make that? How the hell did I make that? Yeah, just within close proximity to each other. <laughs> Alright, so that's two near deaths so far on the stage. And I see the junction. And I got on the brakes way too soon for it, and now I'm in the grass. And I'm leading this stage despite all the near death moments. And again, that's that's rallying in a nutshell. Just every moment is a near death moment. Seriously, guys, rally drivers have like the largest balls out of any four wheeled rate uh, motor motor sports athlete in the frickin' world. I say four wheel because motorcycle riders are even ballsier. Especially those that compete in the Iowa Man. Because, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck that. A little suburban section there. Yep. Very, very uh, sharp turns throughout this entire stage. Somehow I'm actually making it through all of them. For the most part, don't hit the tree! Tree bad. Tree very bad. Uh. And there's a tree. Got my wheels off in the grass and grip was set to no. Nothing I could have done there except drive better and not get put my wheels off in the first place. Oh, this is intense! Big speed, narrow path into... Hey, Jordan. Um, yes, this is Rally Germany. We y'all. Still getting time in that sector. Alrighty. Oh, just, just keep turning right. Just keep turning right. Where the hell is this? Oh, I see it. Where the hell is this junction? You never know with this game. 
could be a, like 200 meters before the actual barrier. Like it's, it's, I've, I've fell, fallen for that way too many times already. Pardon me. All right, into another suburban area. Don't want to want to run over their flower garden there. It's too pretty. Over the river. Okay, we went over the river. There's a boat. That's a fence. It's a very solid. Hey, a motorcycle. <laughs> it's me, to bike. Where am I going? Oh god, that gate scared me. Okay. Eh. Penis, penis, penis. Okay. Everything is fine, and we've reached the end of the stage. That was actually a really cool stage. I kind of, I kind of really enjoyed that stage. All right. There's my super suit. So, there's that. Hooray. Also, is it me? Yeah, uh, I've noticed this when I was editing the previous... By editing, I mean just slapping them into Vegas and putting my intro and outro to them. But, um... Did, uh... For, d is it me, or does... Like... The alt oh, Didier Orel's out. Well, that sucks. Does the, uh, the, the recording, like, look like worse than 25 FPS because that's what it's being the game's being like streamed and recorded at because that's what the game runs at because it's a PAL game anyways I took the rally lead back and by five and a half seconds over Martin hooray but I don't know it just it looks choppier than 25 FPS for me it's weird and it looks like it's running smoother than 25 whenever I'm actually playing on my TV Anyways, longest stage so far in the rally, 10.7 Ks. One of the longest in the game so far. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, for some reason, OBS, it looks like it's running at a shittier frame rate than it does on my TV. <laughs> like, it almost looks like it's running at 50 FPS on my TV. I don't know. Whatever. Two, one, go. Junction, right. As long as it's, you know, as long as the video footage is at its correct frame rate, which I, assume, I guess is just 25. Because I don't think this game actually does run at 50. We Big jump. Alright, well this is a direct contrast from the last stage. Big speed. Big jumps, I just spit on my freaking uh, microphone. I'm scared. Oh god. There's 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 barriers there. Very solid and very ouch barriers. Uh oh. Oh hey. A little bit of gravel here. What is this? Mixed surfaces in my rally, Deutschland? How dare. They lied to me. This isn't hundred percent asphalt. How dare. Oh hey, Angel. Oh hey. Yeah, yep. Oh god. Can I please get back on tarmac? Uh I want to grip again, thank you. Oh, these are more concrete slabs than actual road. These are just concrete slabs marking a path. And once again, on the brakes way too early, and back on the gravel. And not paying attention to where I'm going. Alright, let's go. We. And I'm dominating the stage somehow, despite my struggles. I'll, I'll take it. So yeah, uh, 
German military base is the venue for this stage. This is more like it. This is more what I'm used to. I'm doing alright anyway. <coughs> Just doing some rallying as I wake up. Cause this has pretty much become my daily routine now. Is wake up, uh, watch YouTube for about an hour and then scream for like three hours and then get ready for procrastinate and then finally get ready for work eventually. Holy fuck, I'm 11 seconds up in this stage. I got scared. I thought there was going to be like an immediate junction turn or something. There was not. Now, if my daily routine could be co could become like wake up, chill out for like a couple hours, maybe work on some behind the scenes stuff, and stream for eight hours, and then chill out for another few hours, and then go to bed, that'd be awesome. Will that ever happen? Fuck no. A man can dream. A man can dream of living a lazy life and not actually contributing to society in any way. And I gained another five seconds. Because what the hell is happening? Apparently I'm the tarmac god. So you know how I was hoping stay, uh, day two would make up for uh, what happened on day one? I think it's made up for that. And then some. And then some more. And then some more. Oh, that's, that's wrong. Move. That's a uh, Okay, we're good. Not dead. I'm stuck in the grass. And across the line. And I'm gonna lose another. Okay, I lost five seconds that last sector. Well then. What if got his monetization taken away? That's fucking shit. Slightly overrated. Depends on the person. I don't know. I feel like I'd have a lot more freedom if, you know, I had 50, these 50 hours or whatever a week of that I spend uh, preparing for, getting to, being at, and then coming back from and winding down from work. Oh, the other, Sk the other Skoda's out, by the way. So rip both of the Skoda's again. I think that's their second team retirement, <laughs> at least. Anyways, um, I now have an 18 second lead in the rally, <laughs> heading into day three. Hooray! I did it. So let's move on to the reverse stages. First up, reverse of stage number two, 4.4 Ks, and let's go. Stage five. Of Rally Deutschland. So, with the uh, remaining two stages being about 10 kilometers total, basically the, shorter than the entirety of stage four, um, should be Three, fine here. Two, if I manage one, to blow an 18 go. second lead in these two stages, I will not be surprised, but I'll still be disappointed. So, hi, Matt. so this is the stage where just a lot of things went wrong and I had my biggest time loss. Hopefully, fortune can be reversed since I'm running it in the reverse direction. Oh, 
Well, so far, so good. Two second lead already in the stage. Oh, shit. Why, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, oh. Killer tofu. Why? Real talk, Killer Tofu is a banger. Especially that cover someone did of it. I can't remember, I don't know who it was, but I know someone did a cover of it and it's really fucking good. Mamma mia! Yeah, it's Killer Tofu from Doug. You know, the beats. The beats, Doug, the Doug Universe's version of the Beatles. Except they were a still active punk rock band in Doug. I need more allowance, Yoda Day. Why? Because I do. Uh, some big ass hay bales. Some big ass hay bales. Oh, um, I think the stage might be going well. Where do we leave the table on the table? Table, 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 table. Oh god. This isn't asphalt, this is stone. That's not hopes and asshole. Okay, well, um... Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know, we just won the stage by 15 seconds, you tell me. Three, two, one, go. What? <laughs> Discovered Ned Flan- oh, Oakley Dokley, they're also great, Matt, yeah. So, um, that that's another 15 seconds added to my, uh, rally lead. I did know that, Jordan. I, in fact, did know that. So, uh, yeah, with one stage remaining, um, math. <laughs> yeah, half a minute lead. So, uh, I think I'm getting 10 points here. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure 10 points is, uh, yeah. Conditions raining bright. It's raining light, bright light. Stoned Virgin plays old racing game. Well, obviously that's not about me, because I'm not stoned. I need to listen to more Oakley Dokley, because they're actually a pretty fun band. They're not great, but they're a fun band. Alright. So it's our first wet stage. In terms of rain. Like, we've had a snow. Sweden, but I think this is our first stage in the rain in the uh, championship so far. Yeah, like they're not really that great, and their songs aren't really, you know, honestly, if you take it out of the context of their gimmick, they're not really that good, but they're because of the Flanders gimmick, they're, they're fun to listen to. Especially White Wine Spritzer, that's a, that's a banger. Again, not really a good song, but it's a banger. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, the road doesn't go there. Well, the road does go there, but that's not the road I want to be on. That's not the lonely road. The only one I've ever known. Rain 
stages in New Zealand. Uh, I think New Zealand was all dry. I could be wrong and stupid and have a bad memory, which is entirely possible. Also, what the hell just happened? That was just a series of unfortunate uh, incidents within like a second of each other. I am not adjusting to the reduced grip of the rain of the wet road. I don't know, Jordan. Co-driver didn't ask if I was okay. Now, no one will know. Yeah. Oh. And after all those shenanigans, I'm only point zero one off the stage lead. That's a fence, that's grass, that's a ditch, that's everything I shouldn't be on. Aha, I made it. Somehow. And cross the line. And I somehow won the final stage. And I'm gonna win the Randy Deutschland. Basically, I'm just God. Hit break too. Sometimes I travel. Oh Jesus! I unlocked things. As in, I I unlocked uh, Germany. Hooray! So yeah, I've unlocked all the German stages for uh, outside of the championship mode now. There's that, and here's the final stage results. Beat Petter Solberg by almost two seconds, and uh, yeah, here's all this. So, here are the final results of the Rally Deutschland. I won by 35 seconds. Over Marco Martin, very good. Almost exactly 35 seconds, actually. 35.05. Richard Burns 3rd, Sebastian Loeb 4th, Carlos Sainz takes 5th, Alistair McRae 6th, Petter Solberg 7th, and Marcus Grunholm will get the final point in this rally for Peugeot. And Jill Panizzi was the slowest of people who actually finished. Way to go, Panizzi. Way to fucking go. Oh, hey, Mike. Yeah, this is the first of the locked rallies. All the first seven rounds were unlocked from the start. Not anymore. We're past that. So, anyways, let's celebrate on the podium yet again. Yet another rally victory. These are coming, uh, what's that, three in a row now? I'm going to completely credit this to the, uh, the evolution upgrades. Making my car better. I'm just going to assume that they're automatically applied as we go through the season. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But here are the updated points standing. So now, with that win and Loeb finishing fourth, uh, something like that. Yeah, fourth. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm still waking up. My lead increases to 25 points. And there's the rest of the top seven, eight, and here's the rest of the points. And no one new on the board from this round, so there we go. And here are the updated manufacturer standings. Has, uh, well, I've now put Hyundai in it, back in a tie with Citroen at the top. So there's that. And, uh, well, there's the rest of the standings. Peugeot has passed Subaru. And Ford's gained a lot of points. And Mitsubishi's just kind of chilling there. And Skoda's just, just, they exist. But, that was Germany. It, that went, other than day one, that went extremely well. And honestly, a little surprisingly well. Yeah. <laughs>